Ava! Look! Huh? What? Antlers in the bushes! <gasps> I don't believe it! A deer! That can throw? That's one amazing gear! Thanks! Glad you think I'm amazing. Ha, <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> we should have known. Oh, dear. I found these deer antlers in the woods. I knew it'd be good for a laugh. Did you see that, Chris? Chris? Yeah. <laughs> Funny. Why so glum? What's wrong, bro? Oh, well, I was just looking at old pictures on my creature pod and found some of a long-lost pal of ours. Remember this little white-tailed deer fawn? Little buckaroo. Ah, oh, how could I forget? Of course. Such a cutie. He was special. Yeah, we haven't seen him since way back then. You know, he'd be four and a half years old now. I wonder how our buddy is doing. Do you think he's still out there somewhere in these woods? I don't know, but I remember the first time we met him like it was yesterday. Ah, springtime in the temperate forest. One of my favorite times. Flowers blooming, baby animals everywhere. Oh, and stop! Don't move! Trying not to, but why? Because look, a cute little fawn. A white-tailed deer fawn. Just a few days old. <laughs> You're doing a good job, buddy. Keep it still and motionless while your mom's off feeding. Yeah, exactly what a deer fawn is supposed to do. And we'll leave you alone, little pal, so we don't give away your hiding spot. Uh-oh. <gasps> now that's a deer fawn's hiding power in action. Yup, spots for camouflage and Fawns have virtually no scent at all, so they're really hard for a predator to sniff out and find. But look! Mom always knows where he is. So that's why it's so important for people to leave fawns alone if you find them. They may look lost or orphaned, but they're not. Mom is never far away. He's a little buck, Chris, a boy deer. I'll name him Buckaroo, the cutest little deer in the world. Little did we know that wouldn't be the last time we saw our pal. Yeah, that was just the beginning of our adventure with Buckaroo.